sloth. The seventh of the deadly sins is that of sloth. Not named after this guy, although indirectly it is. And what I've always found kind of often makes people be more slothful than they could be is the way they describe and perceive exercise. Because most people are up for doing some form of exercise, but often we have in our head this ideal version of what that looks like. And when we can't or don't feel that we can do that, we end up instead doing sloth in essence. We tell ourselves that exercise needs to be done for a certain amount of time. It's 45 or 60 minutes. It requires a certain bit of equipment, running trainers, weights, a treadmill, whatever it may be. We tell ourselves it requires a certain location. We have to go somewhere outside or to a gym or whatever to do it. Or we need a certain amount of space or whatever it may be. And when that can't happen or we don't feel able to do it, we don't do anything. We do sloth. The dictionary defines exercise as movement done with the intention of maintaining or improving health or fitness. No mention there of location, equipment, duration, anything else. Five minutes of bodyweight stuff in your lounge is exercise. If it's enough of it is done to create some sort of change in the body or maintenance at least, then it's exercise. It doesn't matter if someone agrees with that or believes that it is, that's the definition of it. That is what exercise is. And when we realize what exercise is and truly take that on board, it's a lot easier to not be slothful because with that accurate definition of exercise, it's something we can do every day for the rest of our lives. We might speed up and slow down on what that looks like as circumstance dictates. Some days it might just be a quick stretch because that's exercise. Some days it might be a bodyweight workout because that's exercise. Some days it might be a walk or a run, both exercise. Some days we might go to rise or a gym or whatever it is, use certain equipment because that, of course, is exercise. So if your definition of exercise you're working on has given you a choice between essentially training like an Olympian or sloth, and sloth has won, maybe going for that more accurate, more beneficial definition of exercise will serve you better.